Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. The old factory off of Argus Street. The fucking Russians have got to Charlie Matei. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they do? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the Ancelotti's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. All right, now the way I seize it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. Chasing that first high. We fucking got you now. Давай, давай, на меня. You wanna send this like gentlemen, yes? Now is your time. They call this your fuck. Yeah, face me, cowboy. Now you give He up, you fuck. This one is for the Great. old country. Jimmy P sent one of his low rate crews to try to get me. 
I'm yours. Please be gentle. Hey, asshole, you surrounded by so ass around. You're pathetic! Fuck you! Even if you take me out, I drop a blast on the message, straight to the mission! Jimmy P! Fucking finish!
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. It's Roman. You want to go eat together? I don't want a full stomach for the stuff I have to do. Another time. All right, Nico. Uh, maybe we do something when you have some free time. Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump. <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me? 
So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him. And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside. John, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Do I know you? I've seen so many green doctors, patients, and cadavers. I don't recognize anyone anymore. Hey, watch out for those cops. They're down the hall acting like they own the place. He's not looking too good, Doc. Can I have some time alone with my patient? You can have one minute. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See the boss? It's just this way. Uh, wait, isn't the boss in jail? Uh, what are you here for? Ah, shit. I didn't have a choice. They were gonna put me away for some hard time. I never thought it'd be me that turned rat. Go to sleep, Anthony. You look tired. But these cops just started to harass me. Can you see what you can do? Don't worry, Nico. I'll get them to stay away from you and I'll try to get their badges. Call me later, okay? I don't think Come you will on, be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch turning everybody into rats. Stay around, Nico. All right, Nico, we're good to go. Becky, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you, Nico. Anything new going on? Not really. Usual series of shootouts, fist fights, and robberies. Shit, that sounds like a fucking extract from my diary. It would if I kept a diary, at least. The fighting bit, mainly. Drunken fights, sober fights, fights on the subway, fights with the family. Did your family fight a lot growing up? Oh, fuck! I practically had to come out of the womb swinging. 
As the youngest, I was always getting my ass kicked by Derek, by Gerald. Francis tried to get me on his side, team up against the other two, he said, but I wouldn't have it any of it. Sneaky fucking bastard he was, even back then. People don't change, do they? One time I remember Frankie and Gerald going at it. There was just this feeling in the air, this feeling that told me this one ain't like all the other fights. Ah, they didn't stop. There was a look in their eyes. It was fucking animal. What ended the fight? Who won? There ain't a winner in a fight like this. I thought the only thing was gonna end it was one of them dying. Ma had walked out when it started, didn't want nothing to do with it. It ended, they was in the kitchen. Jerry was on top, just smashing Frankie's head into the floor. Then he looks up and sees Katie huddled up in the corner, crying and shaking, and they both just stopped when they saw her. Kate stopped being what a kid after shit? that. My car. You know what I mean? I think I do. Okay, Nico. This place ain't too shabby. It ain't too shabby at all. That place ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. That guy. Fuck me. I'm pissed. What? Me Ever too. Apple. But I don't want to fuck you. <laughs> Comedian, ladies and gents. I've heard about Europe is near Ireland. Only the people there are backwards and hairy. <laughs> Whereas you're really civilized here. I'm civilized. I know a lot about sizzlevation. I went there once. Didn't like much. Went back to the madhouse. Fuck me. I'm drunk. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care I'll now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but... Maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy if the Fed show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want.
There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Pico, get in that car and follow me! out. My ma's kind of sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These feds are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You want to see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. They're all over the force, Nico! Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon shit!
This sort of stress. Can we lose the heat already? Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil? I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. Jesus, sometimes I wish I could just go inside and forget about all this. All right, guys, shit, I'm sorry. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. 